Hey team, today we're going to talk about automating workflows with Zapier. I'm Colby Fayok, and if this is your first time here, make sure you hit subscribe for future updates. Zapier is a tool that allows you to automate different tasks by connecting different apps. Think about if you wanted to trigger something with Gmail and then make something happen with Dropbox. Each of these workflows are called a Zap. And today we're going to walk through a few basic Zaps like getting a text if it's going to rain, printing a test page every week to make sure that your printer doesn't dry out, and we're going to set up an RSS feed to automatically email you anytime a new job posting comes up. So to get started, you need to sign up for a Zapier account. It's free to sign up with Zapier and you get five free Zaps to start. So to get started, let's go over and click make a Zap. And for our first demo, we want to trigger when the weather is going to be bad. So we're going to first look for the weather app, and then we're going to select weather by Zapier. For the trigger, we want to see if it's going to rain today. So let's select that and click continue. Next, we need to set the location with the latitude and longitude. They provide a link to this latitude and longitude finder where you can look up your place name and then get the latitude and longitude. So I'm going to paste those in and I'm going to keep it at Fahrenheit since I'm from America and don't understand Celsius. And then similar to before, we can click continue. And once you hit continue, it's going to ask you to test your trigger. What this is going to do is just make sure that it's working properly. And it does, so it finds a forecast. So let's click continue. Now we want to tell it what to do once it gets the update from the weather. So we want it to send an SMS. So we can click it here or we can just search for it and click SMS by Zapier. And next we want to choose an event action, which we're just going to leave as send SMS and click continue. To get the SMS service to work, we need to actually sign in. So once you click that, it's going to ask you to verify your number. So you're going to fill out the number, you're going to confirm with an SMS, or you can call if you want, and then you're going to send the pin. And once they text you that pin, make sure you enter it in. I'm not going to show my actual number, but then you can click yes, continue. And then you can see that your account pops up, which we'll use and we'll click continue again. So now it's going to ask us to choose a number. This is going to be the phone number that it texts us from. We can choose a random number so that it sent a different one every time, or we can choose a single number. Well, the nice thing about a single number is that we're going to know who it's from every time. There's a bit of a rate limiting. So if you choose random, that's going to make sure that it's going to work every time. But it's really whatever you prefer. Then for the message, we can click in and we can see the different tokens that we can use. So here we can add a summary. I'm going to say summary in front of it. And then I'm going to put a space in a dash and I'm going to say the precipitation if I spell that right. And then click that token. And then finally, the max temp. And we're going to add that in. And then we can click continue. And finally, it's all ready to go. So we can test and review it. So if we click test and review, it's going to actually try to send that text. And I can't really show my phone right now, but it definitely worked. I got my text message and we're good to go. So I can turn on that zap. Now, anytime it's going to rain in the morning, it's going to let me know with the text. So an issue I personally have is with my printer that if I don't print every so often, it's going to dry up out of the ink cartridges. That's not a good thing because it can be really expensive to fix if your printer heads dry out. So to prevent that, I'm going to print a test page every week on Sunday just to make sure that it never actually dries out. So at the top, let's click make a zap again. Here we're going to look for a schedule by Zapier and we're going to select a trigger and I'm going to say every week and continue. For the day of the week, I'm going to choose Sunday and I'm going to say my time is going to be 8 p.m. And click continue. And again, we can test our trigger just to make sure that it's work. And it does. Now we're going to tell it what to do when we get that trigger. So we're going to look up Google Cloud Print. We're going to select that. And I'm going to say I want to submit a print job and click continue. And here we can sign into Google Cloud Print. That's going to be just like signing into you, your Google Gmail service. So once you authorize that, you're going to have your Google Cloud Print service right here, ready to go. And we can click continue. And now we can customize our print job. First, we're going to set a printer, which I selected my HP OfficeJet, which I already have configured for Google Cloud Print. And for the content, we have a couple of options. We can either put some HTML, we can put some plain text, or for me, I created this test page that just has a little bit of colors in it to make sure it's refreshing all the different ink heads. So I'm going to paste in the URL to that. And I'm also going to make sure the content type says URL. That way it knows that it's printing a document. And for the title, this can be really whatever you want. Let's say refreshing the spools. We also want to make sure we only print one copy of it. And then we select color where you can select monochrome, but if we choose color, that way it's refreshing all the different kinds of ink. And you can customize the rest of this if you want, but I'm going to just leave them as their defaults. I'm going to hit continue. And now similar to before, we can hit test and review. And if you can see the side here, it actually printed it right out. So now I can turn on the zap and it's going to trigger every single week. So next, I know that there's some job boards that I want to make sure that I subscribe to so I can always make sure I'm applying to the right jobs. If you're a developer, Smashing Magazine has a great jobs list that always is up to date. Luckily, if you go to slash job slash feed, it provides an XML feed that we can hook right into. So we're going to start off by again creating a new zap. And this time we're going to search for RSS and select RSS by Zapier. For our event, we can select new item in feed. Next, we want to customize that trigger. So for the feed URL, we're going to paste in that RSS feed. And since this particular feed is public, we don't need a username or password. But if this was behind some kind of authentication, then we can enter that in. 
so we can just click continue. And similar to before, once we hit test trigger, we're gonna now see one of the entries to that RSS feed. So now we're gonna set up what we're gonna do if we see one of those feed items. We're gonna use Gmail for this and we can search for Gmail and select it. Once it finds one of the items, the action we wanna do is simply send an email. Similar to Google Cloud Print, we're gonna sign into our Gmail account. That way Zapier can actually send that email. So once you have that set up, you should see your email and be able to click continue. And after you set up your account, now we can actually customize our email that's gonna be sent. And here we wanna put the email address we wanna send this to. So I'm gonna put hello at colbyfayak.com. And for the from value, we're just gonna use our email address that we connected with Gmail. For the from name, I'm just gonna put colby at Zapier. For the subject, I'm gonna say new job alert. And we can also select this token for title. That way we can see a preview of what that position is. I'm gonna leave the body type as is, but for the body itself, I'm gonna put the title, hit enter. I'm gonna put the description. And I'm also gonna put the link. And for the rest of these, I'm just gonna leave them blank because we don't really need those. So now we can see a preview of what that's gonna actually look like and we can hit test and review. And I can immediately see in my inbox that I get this new email. And just like before, we can click turn on zap and it'll fire every time there's a new job. So if you float along with me, you set up a couple different tasks. We're gonna get a text if it rains, we're gonna keep our printer fresh and we're gonna get emails if there's new jobs on Smashing Magazine. While these tasks on their own are small, we can really use these and get creative to do really whatever we want with these different apps. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.